In this video, I will provide you with a couple of formulas that you can use to figure out how many of the foundation or crawl space vents you will need for a building. Now, before we get into the math, let's go ahead and take a look at the screened vents. We are going to need these measurements, the inside measurements of the screen which is going to be 14 inches by 6 inches. And then we are also going to need the access hole, which is also screened, which is going to be 1 foot 6 inches by 2 foot, or we're going to have 24 inches by 1 foot 6. Now let's go ahead and take a look. This access vent right here, it's going to be, we're going to multiply 1.5 which would be one foot six inches, half of a foot, the decimal would be 1.5 or 18 inches. We're gonna multiply that times two, that's gonna give us three, three square feet. This vent by itself represents three foot of ventilation area of the screened ventilation area. So this is a big chunk out of our, our formula. And to figure out the crawl space vent, we're simply going to multiply 14 times 6, going to give us 84 square inches. There is 144 square inches in a square foot. If we divide 84 into 144, we're going to get 0.58. Each crawl space vent, each one of these crawl space vents is going to give us 0.58 of a square foot as a decimal and of course three feet for the access vent and of course we're going to use these numbers here along with the total square footage of this area here to figure out how many vents we need so if we take 50 and we multiply it by 27.58 the 58.58 would be seven inches broken down as a decimal 27 feet, 7 inches as a decimal would be this. And that's going to give us 1,379 square feet. But we're not going to use that. We're just going to round up. 50 times 28 equals 1,400. You're wondering why I put that in there. That was for the perfectionists, the people that need to know exactly. Um, this formula is going to be fine. You can use either one. 1400 divided by 150 gives us 9.33. That's the square footage of vent area we need. 9.33 divided by 0.58 gives us 16.09. That is how many vents we are going to need for this particular building foundation. So let's go ahead and count our vents here. We have the large one. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on these sides. Seven. And then we have eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And we would basically need three more vents if it wasn't for the large one back here, which is going to give us more ventilation than we need. Now, for those of you who got it, you, you don't need any more um, explanations on this. Um, you can stop watching the video. The next part of the video, I'm going to break it down a little further to see if uh, I can make more sense to anyone that I lost during the presentation. I, I get a lot of people who um, tell me that uh, I put too much information into these videos. So if you got it, you understand it, fine. If not, continue watching. Okay, now this is where I think it could be the most confusing, is trying to figure out where we're getting the 150 square feet from. And the 150 square feet is going to come from the area of the rectangle. So here we have a rectangle or the base of our building foundation. It's 50 foot by 28 foot, 1400 square feet. Now 
for every 150 square feet, which would basically be for every 10 foot by 15 foot of this particular floor area or crawl space area, we will need one 12 inch by 12 inch or one foot by one foot screened vent. Now, if I went ahead and put 10 of these here, remember we needed 9.33. Here's the edge of our building foundation. If I put 10 of these in here, we would have it overhang just a little bit, which this would represent the 0.66 um, or 0.67, I guess, if we have 0.33 of our decimal. Remember, we needed 9.33 square feet. So this right here is 10 of the 10 by 15 foot blocks representing 150 square feet each. So if you put 10 vents or 10, I'm sorry, 10 square feet of screen vent area in here, you would be just fine with this particular foundation. You can be a little larger. You just can't be a little smaller. So for those of you who aren't getting what the 150 feet, 150 square feet represents, it represents one square foot of screened vent area or two six inch by 12 inch screened vents. So I hope that makes sense. I don't want to make this a two hour video. Feel free to leave any comments in the comment area and I will see if I can provide you with more information if this just isn't making sense. One more thing I want to throw in there is that these are 2018 building codes from the International Residential Building Code book and they might not be applicable in your area. They might be different. So always check with your local building officials or building department for clarification or more information about what you actually need or what they require.